time for Plant Lady. Yes. Marlene, are you ready for your first question? I am. How Yay. do I take care of this palm? Okay, so that is not a palm. It's called cycad or a cycad palm, um, but it's a sago palm. Cycus revoluta is the botanical name. So um, in a pot, it's best. You could put them in the ground in the Sacramento region, but in a pot, it's best because you can control the drainage. They need good drainage. Water in a pot about maybe once a week. Needs morning sun, can handle morning sun, an afternoon shade, or in an all day, very bright exposure, uh, bright shade. And uh, other than that, they're pretty carefree. You could prune off the lower leaves as they start dying down. And as it starts busting out of the pot, just put it into a bigger pot. I recommend planting it in a succulent mix so it gets really good drainage. Sometimes they do get pests, um, but so just monitor them for that. But otherwise, they're very easy to grow. Just no afternoon sun. So you said it's not a palm? It's not it's a not seco? a palm. It, it's a um, cycad. Cycad. What is not, it's not a palm. Okay. Food Why of the everybody... dinosaurs back in the day. Oh. Dinosaurs ate them. Um, a little side note on this. Yeah. All cycads, and don't freak out, this is only if you eat it, um, carcinogenic and have nerve toxins in them. What? Hey, you know, maybe that's oh. why dinosaurs aren't here anymore. Okay. I don't know. I don't worry. So. You'd have to eat a lot of it over and over again. Okay, here's the next one. What is this on my... Um, Palm. palm. Yeah, so uh, a true palm. This and is a true palm right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where the cycads produce cones, they actually are like pine trees where they produce cones. This is a true palm which will produce flowers. And, the, you know, the, depending on the palm and the size of the palm depends on the flower cluster. The largest cluster of flowers, and called an inflorescence, is found on a large palm. Um, so you can leave them. A lot of times they will recede. So if people wonder why they have little palm trees popping up in their yards, look around, your neighbors may have it, mm -hmm. and they blow down. But they're not incredibly showy. They just sort of Why would someone down. remove them? The flowers? Yeah. Um, you just trace it back to where the flower stem is no, at but and I mean, chop it off. Do we have to, or can they leave No, them not at all. Okay. If you have having a problem with them receding, then ah. yes. If it's really high up, get a pair of the, the tree, like a pole saw, and then just cut it, cut it down. OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, next picture here. Okay. Hang on one second. I got to bring this here. Okay. okay, here we go. We have cut this bush down twice and it keeps coming back. Do we need uh, to dig up the roots? Yeah, so that is a uh, cottonwood tree. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> they grow very fast. They're very weak trees. If you have a large one, you may know that limbs just drop here and there. It's best to get an arborist out to prune large ones. Um, they will, will reseed and they can also sprout up from um, various roots that are left underground. So yes, you're gonna have to dig up as many roots as you can, try to kill off the stump any which way you can. Um, I'm not gonna recommend any strong herbicides just because I'm not gonna recommend burning it down with fire just because <laughs> not saying I haven't done <laughs> just saying but yes it don't be surprised if little pieces of the roots even buried in the soil still will pop up here and there so and you just see those all on the river and that's what causes allergies yeah they're yeah high allergen trees Ugh. Mm -hmm. okay next picture here we go and the one you have here is my rose is losing its leaves. What is going on? Okay, another rose question like before. Um, so there is a little bit, it looks like a little bit of a leaf spot. And I had questions earlier on um, in the season about a lot of foliar fungus. Leaf spot is one of them. It causes these black dots and they sort of spread and then they could form one big cluster. It's very minor on that, but leaf spot along with maybe some other stress could cause leaves to fall off. I'm wondering about the drainage in this area. I would say dig down before you're plant on watering, dig down about eight inches and see how wet it is down there. After you water, leave it for a day, dig down eight inches down below and see what the water situation is like. If plants are in standing water and aren't getting good water, first thing they do is drop their foliage. Oh. Now roses, believe it or not, can handle standing water in the winter, but when they're actively growing, they don't want that. So little leaf spot, possibly drainage issue okay and people can follow you on instagram facebook and your podcast that you're going to record tonight 
Uh, I'm going to record tonight or tomorrow, and it'll be up in a few days. And I'll post on my uh, Facebook, Marlene the Plant Lady, so follow me there. Sounds good. And uh, send your questions in. The Plant Lady, KMAXTV.com. We'll be right back on Good Day.